वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम थ्री पॉइंट टू सेवन सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन दैट अ टॉर्क ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड टी इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड न्यूटन मीटर इज अप्लाइड टू अ शाफ्ट ए बी ऑफ द गेयर ट्रेन शोन सो दिस इज ए बी ऑफ द शाफ्ट एंड दट दिस टॉर्क टी इज अप्लाइड ऑन दिट नोइंग दैट द डायमीटर ऑफ थ्री सॉलिड शाफ्ट आर डी ए बी इज ट्वेंटी वन मिलीमीटर डी सी डी डी सी डी इज थर्टी मिलीमीटर डी एफ इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी मिलीमीटर डिटरमाइन मैक्सिमम शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इन शाफ्ट ए बी इन शाफ्ट सी डी एंड इन शाफ्ट ई एफ सो फ्राम दिस फिगर यू कैन सी दिस इज अ गेयर ट्रेन एंड एट पॉइंट ए दिस टॉर्क टी ऑफ हंड्रेड न्यूटन इज अप्लाइड एंड ड्यू टू दिस टॉर्क द गेयर ट्रांसमिट मोशन एंड ऑल द डायमीटर्स ऑफ दिस शाफ्ट ए बी इज गिवन आई हैव रिटर्न the given data over here the given torque t is 100 newton at shaft ab diameter of this shaft bc is ab is equal to 21 mm while diameter of shaft cd is 30 mm this is cd shaft clear and def is 40 mm so this is shaft def okay also the radius of gear b which is given over here is 25 mm while radius of gear c is 60 mm i mention it and similarly rd is this is rd which is 35 mm clear and um, sorry rd is this one 30 mm and this is re which is 75 mm so what we have to find we have to find the maximum shearing stress in shaft ab similarly for shaft cd and for shaft E F. So let's start with the solution. Now you can see that at point A we have torque of hundred newton. So from static, from statics, statics, we know that if we cut the shaft at any point, so this torque T will be equal to torque at point A. R is equal to torque at point B. And we can also say that this is torque. A B in shaft A B and again that is equal to hundred newton into meter. Now uh, for from statics and for shaft A B, shaft A B. Okay, so we will start from gear B C. So you can see that these two shafts, these two shaft uh, sorry gears B C B and C. are in in contact so there will be a force uh, bc also uh, i will write first gear b and c they are in mesh they are in are in contact clear so force on gear circle will be equal to force on gear circle will be you can say this force is perpendicular force and this force is let's say fbc and this fbc will be equal to uh, fbc will be equal to uh, tb over rc tb over rb is equal to tc over rc i will uh, explain one of it and rest i will go direct you can see this force is fbc and you know that torque is equal to force into radius so for gear b this will be equal to fbc into sorry fbc into radius of b and this will be equal to torque b for gear c this torque is equal to f into radius so this is fbc into for gear it is rc and it is tc now you from here you can get fbc this is fbc fbc is equal to tc over rc and from here fbc is equal to tb over rb so fb is equal to this one and fbc is equal to this one and fbc is equal to this one which i have mentioned here in this equation they are same so i will uh, remove these things and will move forward 
I hope you have uh, a clear understanding now. So this FBC is equal to this. So it means that TBC, TB, TB over RB is equal to TC over RC. So from here we can get this TC torque transmitted to gear C will be equal to um, TB into RC over RB. Clear? So RC and RB is given. RC is 60 millimeter. RB is 25 millimeter. So and TB is equal to this T100. So TC will be equal to RC is 60 divided by RB is 25 multiply by let we do not write T at this uh, value of T at moment we generally write this TB is equal to T. So from here you will get the equation or relationship between torque transmitted from uh, shaft AB to gear C that TC will be equal to uh, 2.4 times T. Now this is the torque that is transmitted to this gear C and again this uh, this torque will be equal to in, sha in shaft I will write over here so shaft CD in shaft CD this TC will be equal to T D because it's the sh same shaft or you can also write TCD and that is equal to 2.4 times T. Again this torque due to this uh, rotation of this shaft this gear will uh, this gear D will also rotate clear and the power will be transmitted to gear E. So we will write gear D and E clear so we know that rd which is again given as 30 millimeter and re is equal to 75 millimeter again due to this rotation of this shaft it will apply a force clear and this force is fde and again this fde a force on gear circle fde force on gear circle FDE will be equal to uh, TD over RD is equal to TE over RE because you can see this FD is equal to torque in this divided by radius of this um, gear is equal to torque in this divided by radius of this so td we can write it td over rd is equal to te over re so we have td we do not know te so implies that te will be equal to td into R E over R D. Okay, so you can put the value T D is 2.4 times T. Clear that is given over here. R E is equal to uh, 75 millimeter divided by R E R D is 30 millimeter. That is equal to T E. So T E will be equal to uh, six times of T. So we have another relationship that torque in gear in shaft E is equal to six times T while we torque in shaft C is two time two point four time D. Now we'll move toward our first that uh, uh, first thing that is how to find the share maximum sharing stress so we i will write it maximum maximum sharing stress 
that is equal to tau max and that tau max is equal to t into c divided by j and again we know that t into c divided by j and for for j is polar moment for solid shaft it is pi by 2 c4 so from here we will get 2t over pi c cube this is general formula for maximum sharing stress now in our first part a we have been asked to find the maximum sharing stress for shaft a a b clear so again this maximum sharing stress will be equal to torque for shaft a is t a b is t i will show you for shaft a b that is t which is 100 newton into meter so we will write t uh, this formula two times thousand clear sorry 100 uh, it is 100 newton meter yes 100 newton meter so 2 into 100 divided by pi into radius of shaft a b so radius of shaft a b diameter of shaft a b is given so radius will be 21 divided by 2 so 21 divided by 2 will be 10.5 so 10.5 and that is in millimeter so if you convert into meter so 10 is power minus 3 and it will be cube so when you calculate it you will get the value of maximum sharing stress in shaft a is 55.0 into 10 to power 6 pascal or simply you can say that maximum sharing stress is equal to 55 mega pascal and that is for shaft ab so this is the answer of our first part now we'll move towards second part and in second part it has been asked to find the maximum sharing stress for shaft cd and again we know that maximum sharing stress is equal to 2 times t divided by pi c cube it's already mentioned over here so for shaft cd we know that t is equal to for shaft cd t is equal to 2.4 t so you will replace this t with 2.4 times t and t is i will write first t over pi c q so we will get 2 multiply by 2.4 multiply by 100 clear uh, divide by pi and for shaft c dc it diameter is 30 millimeter so radius will be 15 millimeter so 15 millimeter in term of meter will be equal to 15 into 10 raised to power minus 3 whole cube so when you calculate it, you will get tau max is equal to 45.3 into 10 raised to power 6 Pascal. Or tau max is equal to 45.3 mega Pascal. So this is the answer. This is for shaft CD. I will move toward our third part and in third part it is being asked to find the maximum sharing stress for shaft EF. Again maximum sharing stress is equal to 2t over pi c cube and for shaft EF we have torque is 60. So I will replace this two t, uh, t with 60. So divide by pi c q. So 2 multiply by 6 multiply by t is 100 divided by pi and r, r e f is equal to uh, diameter is 40 millimeters. So radius will be 
20. So 20 into 10 is to power minus 3 whole cube. Again from here you will get maximum sharing stress is equal to 47.7 into 10 to the power 6 Pascal or you can say that maximum sharing stress is equal to 47.7 mega Pascal that is for shaft EF. So this was the answer of our third part. So we have calculated maximum sharing stress in shaft AB, in shaft CD and in shaft EF. I hope you have now a clear understanding about such type of problem. If again, if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section and do subscribe my channel for and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.